What qualifies as an internship? When choosing an internship site, please be aware that your internship should meet four requirements. These requirements include length of internship, learning opportunities and responsibilities, supervision, and safety. First, your internship needs to begin by week two of the semester in order to accommodate the 90-hour requirement. And your internship needs to continue for the entire semester. So even if you finish your 90 hours before the end of the semester, you will need to continue at your internship site until the end of the semester. We recommend that you coordinate your schedule with your site supervisor early on so that you're able to meet this requirement. Next, your internship should be related to a career goal or skills you would like to develop. You will work on developing learning goals with your internship supervisor to make sure that you're gaining meaningful professional experience and learning new professional skills. We understand that all jobs have tasks that are tedious and oftentimes when we're new to a site, we might initially get assigned some of the more basic tasks. The problem is when you find yourself doing nothing but those tedious tasks. The key here is to show initiative so that you're assigned some of the more complex, creative, and professional tasks. Often when we demonstrate that we can competently complete the more basic tasks, we're given more advanced responsibilities. Let's hear how these students were able to integrate their interests and develop new skills at their internship site. For me, during my college careers, I honestly was not reliant on others because I just felt like I could do everything on my own, but I started to realize that it's okay to help work with others because it could help you uh, gain new ideas and become more productive. It's made me kind of explore what my strengths and weaknesses are. Um, I never thought I'd be good at leading different activities or groups and I found out that's kind of a strength of mine especially working with children and I also thought I wouldn't be very good at working with adults but I've learned to really that's kind of been my favorite so far. <laughs> my main objective going into my internship was to learn how to listen actively to the patients and offer some sort of helpful suggestions and um, encourage them to stay on course with their sobriety and in doing so I learned about different types of therapy which would include um, cognitive behavioral therapy, mindfulness, um, motivational enhancement therapy, and, you know, there's not just one set way of handling addiction. Everyone's on their own journey, on their own path at, different, at a different point. So it's important to be able to have like an umbrella of knowledge and to know what to apply um, effectively for each different person. Third, your internship site should have a supervisor who maintains a mentoring relationship with you, reviews your work, evaluates your work throughout the semester, and is willing to communicate with a course instructor. Lastly, the internship site must be in a safe environment that poses no immediate risk to your physical, mental, or emotional health and well-being. If needed, the internship coordinator will request a site visit to determine its safety. Some things that your internship cannot be are, your internship cannot be with friends or family, meaning that you cannot intern at your family's business. But if your friend or family recommends an internship at a company or organization they work at, and they would not be your immediate supervisor, then that would be fine. Secondly, your internship cannot be at your current place of employment. The only exception will be if you will be completing work in a completely different department doing different tasks and have a different supervisor than at your current place of employment. This placement will also have to be approved by your internship instructor. Keep these key requirements in mind when you're looking for your internship. Make sure your internship will allow you to complete 90 hours of work, provide professional learning opportunities and increase responsibilities, provide a supervisor that will act as a mentor and is in a safe environment.